they'll kind of they'll show up and they'll they'll bring whatever they kind of they want or need it's kind of it's it's kind of a community vibe mm -hmm. and like a kind of like a i don't know what grown-up folks would call like a potluck of a party or i'd say but this particular field party that we were at it happened to have quite a few things that I don't think the person that was hosting it was into. <laughs> Actually, I know that for sure, because uh, she was on a particular team I was on during the high school, high school years. Hmm. And uh, yeah, we were homies. So anyway. So a lot of things were going on, but um, you kind of want to be a little subtle about it because it was... Uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 um, me and my boy Crow were deciding that, uh, well, at this time we're like, whatever, we're in the experimental phase or whatever. So, we decide, alright, I'm just gonna get real, real fucking honest about it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So, we decided that at this particular time, Coracetin, which is a flu medication. Mm -hmm. uh, was very popular in uh, well your circle yeah, well not even just mine but like for stealing from the grocery store yeah. okay because you couldn't really buy it to I don't think I don't think you could buy it unless you were of age or whatever oh really yeah it was one of those type of things it was like a, you know people buy shit for whatever I don't know to make meth or whatever the hell yeah you, you gotta share your ID and I'm, yeah yeah so we knew a lot of people that stole this particular thing. And it was promised to make you hallucinate. So we're like, oh, that sounds cool. Whatever. You know? Uh, well, we didn't know. You know, um, it would. So we're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, so me and, me and Crow decided that we are going to take a, quite a few. Uh, way above the... A recommended dosage. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we were at this party, this field party, and we decided that, oh man, we might as well smoke too. You know, whatever, you know. We're already this deep, you mm -hmm. know. That stuff didn't kick in for like probably a half hour. So we're all the way there and like having fun or whatever before this stuff. Yeah. Was uh, in our system. Is that, is the YouTube one? Okay. Um, so, anyways, we're there and whatever. So, yeah, it's completely honest about that. I don't give a shit. It's it's decade past, you know, since that's happened. So I don't care. So um, that happens. So me and me and Crow are kind of freaking out, or whatever. I have my first uh, flip phone for all you motherfuckers Ooh. that don't know about flip phones. No, I had snake on it. So oh, I don't even think I had snake. Oh bro. damn, bro. I mean, I knew about texting though. Texting was like there you go. a thing. But this was when you had to hit the button three times just to get to C type of shit, Boy, you know? I know. So um, we're there at this party. My dad calls, and he's like, where the fuck are you guys? Like, oh, why'd you take the car out? And I'm like, yo, um, uh, I can go places, whatever, you know, yeah. or, you know, whatever. Back so here. I'm like, all right, we'll come home. And my dad only called us if he was either super pissed or we were out so late that he was actually going to work. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, I mean, it happened. So, um, he called, I don't forget which, what the circumstance was at, but he called and we decided, all right, we've got to dip out. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to take a while. Because, I mean, luckily these back roads are super, super chill. There's nobody driving on them at this time of night. But still, scary. And, I mean, not just for us, whatever. So we decided to take roads that we knew no one would be on the whole way home. Okay. Because we knew the roads there and back. Back of our hand. I could take you there now. Okay. So we start driving. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh, this is a first. Drew Pasley beating me right now. Oh. Hey, you tell, you tell oh, him a deep story. I got mm -hmm. to drink up. Mm. Anyway. So... We're driving down this country ass road with mm -hmm. these like trees that hang over the road 
and like engulfs it in like yeah. this darkness. Kind of, kind of like a tree cave situation. Yeah, yeah, a tree tunnel. Tree tunnel, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. So you're like driving, and there's like these dumps and like all these trees and like weird shit that you were like expecting to see. You're freaking out, right? Yeah. So me and Crow are like driving along really, really slow. Okay. And I swear to you, we were both legitimately seeing shit the whole way there the whole way home and it was it was terrifying yeah but something i'll definitely never forget but i woke up i mean of course my my dad was pissed that we we were late but he had no idea what we had what was happening yeah so we're we're driving home and whatever that happens we finally get there i'm like oh shit we made it the fucking sun's coming it took us forever to get home. Wow. Forever, dude. And it was like, man, I don't even know. I, dude, how long did it take us? Yeah. Like, legit. I had no idea. But, um, that was, I think that's the end of my life. It was, it was creepy as fuck driving home. And I think that's definitely that's the true. end of our creepy shit yeah. segment. Um, so, thanks for hanging in with us on that one. Yes. We had some technical difficulties. Yeah, we went in, we went in and also we went in for so long that we didn't even realize we weren't recording anymore. We did, we were real engulfed. We were, we were so into this podcast that we didn't even realize we were. All right, so let's skim through some things. We told we told the homies that we we're going to be uh, talking about the little things. Ooh. What little things are we talking about? In this particular you know, one. We introduced this topic a few episodes ago, yeah. and I think that we both agreed that it was best that we continue, like, yeah, talking I mean, about it because... It's always nice. Because, honestly, people need to know, like, what other people's little things are, because sometimes... True. You don't know. Y- yeah. you, don't, you don't know what could be nice in your life unless you already heard about it. Yeah. Uh, for me, the little thing I want to talk about is getting a massage. Like something, something I've never had, but I wish I, I should probably do that because my body is pretty fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Okay, <laughs> actually, that's a lie. I had one for like two seconds oh, really? for the show I was working on, and it, it made me feel worse, which is kind of shitty. You have to get a real massage done. That's what I'm talking. About. Yeah, like you have to go to a place that does massages and mm-hmm. get it done, because. It's one of those things where, see, like, I don't really like being touched. Like, it, it's no. weird. Like, yeah, I don't like it when people got, come up to me, like, friends of mine, whatever. Like, I'll do a hug or whatever, but, like, it's, it's just, like, it's weird. So, the idea of someone who I don't know putting their hands on me yeah. is kind of freaks me out. Like, I don't, so I don't like that. I don't, so, if you get boofed by a homeless, you're freaking oh, out. Oh, good God. If I get touched by a homeless, I get freaked out. But it happened to me the other day. Yeah, it happens to all. But that sucks. That happened to me. <laughs> she, you know, she would. She yeah, she was furious. <laughs> she was also scared to death that she'd caught someone. <laughs> um, <laughs> but both partially true. Um, you know, getting a getting a massage <laughs> from a significant other <laughs> is good, but going and getting a professional massage is kind of one of the best little things. It's ever. weird though. Like, it, uh, it, it is weird. Theory, it's weird. Like someone well, is gonna rub you down with lotion. And you're, let me tell. Let me tell you my first experience. It's <laughs> very strange. Okay. So I went to a chiropractor for a while because you will get a bad back. Mm-hmm. And I was going to this chiropractor, and my insurance said that they would cover like a, a treatment, a massage treatment once a month. So I had twelve massages that I was able to get. Okay. Yeah. So I go up and say I want to schedule my first massage. They're like, do you want this person or this person? And the day that I could do it, it was like this dude. And I, like, honestly, I didn't care. It doesn't matter if it's a male or a female, as long as they can do their job right. Like, you, you know, if you can make a hamburger, you can make a hamburger. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. Yeah. So I'm Hold like, on. do you feel the same way about physicals? I've had a female touch my balls before in a physical, and that's weird. I was thinking about this actually recently because I'm gonna go to the doctor pretty soon, and I was like, "What if I get a chick doctor?" Get get the physical 
Well, I mean, I haven't had one in a while. So, like... I know me either. If you, uh... Alright, so... So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird. No, let me tell you this weird situation, though. Okay. So, uh, I'm telling this... It is weird, but it was really one of the best experiences I've had because I've never had professional hands. Like, someone who was trained... Yeah, to grab a guy... I think his name was, like, Lindsay or something. It was weird. Lindsay? Yeah. Like, guy Lindsay? Okay. Uh, you know, one of those weird ass, yeah, like, I mean, he, no gender He does him, man. All right. So, Lindsay is... He, he, we, we get in this room, and I, and it's my chiropractor, not the, mas, my, not the masseuse, but my chiropractor was like, okay, you come in here, mm-hmm. take off all your clothes, get them mm-hmm. to this sheet. And I was like, all my clothes? And she was like, yeah, all our clothes, your underwear, too. And I was like, okay. I don't know how to do that. Is your chiropractor? Like, my chiropractor told me to do this because right. this is how the situation goes. The, you gotta check your back and shit. When you get, yeah. when you get massaged, no, like, well, for the massage, you have to take oh, the Oh, you asked the chiropractor what's up? She, like, she was there, I did my adjustment, and she was like, okay, so you're, for your massage, I'm gonna take you to this room. And when we got in here, he's like, okay. They did, hold on, they did a massage at your chiropractor? Yeah, the whole, that's the thing, it's like the, the, the chiropractor had different kinds of therapy situations going on, and one of them was massage therapy. So in the, oh, in their office they did that? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so like, she took me to the room, kind of like another, like a normal doctor, like, if okay. you go to a room for yeah, this, yeah, yeah, you yeah. get a room for x-ray, yeah, you get a room for whatever. She took me to the massage room, that's right. and then I, she was like, okay, take off all your clothes. And uh, we'll be out here waiting, you know, your masseuse will be out here waiting and then knocking the door when you're ready. And I was like, okay. So I took off all my clothes, my underwear too, and I was like, I felt really strange. This is the first time I ever had to do this. Okay. I felt really strange. I'm butt ass naked. You in play any this sports bed. in high school? Yeah. You have to get butt ass naked in front of guys? Y- yeah, but no. It, it wasn't as serious. Kind of. It wasn't se- as serious as a B. B movie like it wasn't like where guys are in the locker room naked together like no it wasn't like that but I did play varsity sports okay anyway <clears throat> we didn't take showers or like that mm-hmm. you did you, you did swimming so you had to take showers yeah. so anyway this is the first time this is the first time I had to get naked in front of whatever but like he couldn't see anything because I was on the thing yeah you in a robe or whatever so right? no I mean I was on the sheet so we get in there and the first thing this dude says is, "Hello, Andrew." <laughs> oh, really? Uh, yeah. And he's back says, to creepy topics. Yeah. And he yeah. says, he Hello, says, Andrew. he it's says, "That's only for that." He said, uh, <laughs> "Would you like to listen to? Would you like to listen to music?" Did he, did he put on Bjork? He put no. But it was like some <laughs> weird ass shit like that. Sarah McLachlan. It was as weird as Bjork without Bjork's vocals. It was oh, like okay. Bjork uh, <laughs> instrumental. He pulled it off YouTube. Yeah, it was Bjork like was some some weird shit. Okay. Bjork mix. Um, oh, okay, cool. Bjork so, Spotify. So we're getting the massage, and the massage is going great, and I tell him the areas that hurt, so he's like working on that shit, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, guess what this dude does? Hand job. No, bro. <laughs> this is rough. No, okay. it's like weird. So the way the way it works is you're under the sheet, right? Okay. So the bottom half on the sheet. So then he takes the sheet and starts folding it up so he can get my legs. Oh no. Bro, fold it fold it straight up to the to the at like the bottom of the ass. You know my junk be hanging, so like there's no way he is not looking at this ball sack. <laughs> Like, it was one of the weirdest. And, and he was like, he was like grabbing like real close there. He was he, like, he grow, he, t- he touched. He, there might have been a pinky on it. And <laughs> he was, was like, very he lotioned was like, pinky. He was like, he was like <laughs> <laughs> He, he, Very moist face. You know, what's funny is his, everything. He had his hand <laughs> just on that part of my body, my thigh, my upper thigh. Just and, on your nuts? And no, no, no. His pinky? Bruh, on my thigh, he says, Is this okay? <laughs> and you were like, Of course it's okay. It's okay. I, I, yeah, I was like, honestly. I'm already in this situation. I might as well get the full, you know, everything. 
So I get the I finish the massage. First time I cried on the podcast. I'm just letting you know. First, I get the massage and uh, it was great. Good for you. I and, loved uh, it. What was it? What was your boyfriend's name? Lindsay. Lindsay. You and your Thank boyfriend, you. Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. Good job, Lindsay. You did great. You did a great job. I still got. I still have like seven more massages I can get from that place. From Lindsay, particularly. I've never had a female masseuse. Oh, the only time, other time I had a professional massage, I did a couple St. Catherine. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but you know what's fucked up about it is the dude that gave me a massage had a hangnail. Ow. So he's like doing this shit, and he, and like every time he like digs around. Clipping you? Yeah, he's clipping me I'm like ow, ow, ow. I'm like the fuck, bro. You, that's like literally you work with your hands. Why are they not? Like they should be short as hell. Yeah, they no. should. There should be no. They should nails. be fucked up like a like a manicurist. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? They should. Sh- they, they should fucked up. Nubs. You know, literally. They, deal with all those they should chop off the top of the fingers. Get nubs, you know that that dig in there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just rub it in there. What's your little thing? You got a little thing? You done with the little things? Uh, fuck man, you trip me out with that one. Um, uh, I had one at the beginning of this. You you know I feel like I know what your little thing is. What? Cooking. You like to make your own meals. I like making my own. That's not little though. That's yeah. not a little thing. That's I mean, not a little, little thing in life. That's like a thing I actually enjoy. But like most people our age don't cook. We just go out and eat. But you enjoy making something for yourself, for Meg, for your wife. Mm. Like that's that's kind of unique to your demographic because you're a, a white dude in your twenties. Like literally, the only thing. That the stereotype for us is that either we go out to eat or we try to find somebody who's good for us. But you like cooking. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I you guess don't think it's a little thing. I, that, you don't think it's a little though. You don't think. I don't think it's little. I I, I think I like a full on topic. I, I like I like cooking. I feel like a little thing is like. Uh, man. You know. Man, I had one really good, dude. Before you, you fucking kill me.